The next match we had was Andrade versus Alberto Carrillo. If you feel like you've seen this match a thousand times, it's because you have. And Andrade defeated Umberto Carrillo with some help from Zelina Vega. He retained the United States Championship. Umberto Carrillo is extremely talented. He seems like a, a great guy. He's a dude that I found out through Instagram got his college degree, which is commendable. And, and, and look, whether you, no matter how you feel about college education or whatever else, okay, to come from another country, to get your formal education, to also be successful, live in your dream in the profession you want to be in in professional wrestling, it, it's just a beautiful story. I believe he's happily married or on, on the verge of being married. Just seems like an all-around nice guy, great human interest story. And guess what? We don't hear about any of that on TV. Here's what we know about him on TV. He flies around, He's Mexican, he's got lovely dimples, and Jerry the King Lawler can't help but make racist jokes about him every time he's in the damn ring. You gotta stop that, Jerry. For real, man. It's 2020, bro. But this match was just, well, it was just kind of there. It was it was good work. Solid work all around. But again, nothing we have not seen before. And the unfortunate thing here is that Andrade was suspended for 30 days due to the wellness policy violation, kept the U.S. title, clearly... The title means nothing right now. Or at least WWE's educated the fans to believe that the title means nothing. You have Humberto Carrillo, who's been nothing because they haven't given him that many wins. On top of that, I believe he's like 0 for, at least just on TV alone, he's like 0 for 4, 0 for 5 in U.S. title matches between his matches against AJ Styles and Andrade. So he loses again. Why are we supposed to care about him? Just like they wanted us to care about Ricochet. Why do I care about Ricochet beating Carl Anderson in 2020? Why am I going to care about Ricochet when he lost to some dude named Riddick Moss, who sounds like a user-created character in Madden? Granted, maybe a talented user-created character in Madden. Or actually, not even user. Yeah, he is. He, when it was, you know, if you ever played Madden before, or FIFA, or one of these games where you download like these custom rosters, or not even. You know what? Like, you know how like you, you you play like in the franchise mode, and then when you don't download the draft class for next year, the computer just generates somebody. Yeah, Riddick Moss is like that computer-generated Madden character. He might be good, but it's Riddick Moss. Never mind the fact that I believe I believe the crowd chanted at him, "We don't know you." So great job by uh, the booking team for Ricochet.